Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Suck Up, the game where you have to convince your neighbors using your microphone to let you inside of their house so you can kill them. This game uses AI technology, so it adapts to everything that you say. I want to start asking them some random things or maybe try to get creative with the things that I say so they can let me in their house and then I can kill them. If you guys cool that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. I want to see if I can find some kind of police outfit. I want to pretend that I'm a police officer and I want to convince them that there's a killer on the loose and for them to let me in inside so I can do a little searching or some shit. Wait, there it is. Oh goodness, what's going on officer? Is everything okay? Everything is not okay. There's a killer on the loose and for some reason they love to target four-eyed freaks with bad hair. It's not looking too good for you, buddy. Hey now officer, that's not a very nice thing to say. I think it's best if we end this conversation here. Stay safe out there. Uh, who the hell are you and why are you wearing that get up? I am a police officer, ma'am. Please respect that. And there's a killer on the loose. And the killer targets women that are up late at night. Great, another thing to worry about. Look, officer, I've had a long day, and the last thing I need is more stress. So unless you have a warrant or something, I'll pass on inviting you in. Sorry or not sorry. The killer was last seen around the neighborhood. I need to make sure that he is not in the house so you can be safe and you can rest easy tonight. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to make sure. Fine, come on in and do your police officer thing. Just make it quick, okay? Why is police officer in quotes? Do you think that I'm a stripper or something? All right, ma'am. Let me in. Thank you. Fine, come on in, but make it snappy. I've got a million things to do, I bet. I've got a million things to do, too. And the first thing is, starting with you. Get that ass off here! This is the ultimate corporate cutthroat. I have no idea what that means, but we have our first victim down. So the police officer outfit is OP. Let's see if I can convince her. Hey, what's poppin'? What brings you to the crib at this ungodly hour? Can't lie, I'm kinda curious. Spill the tea. There's actually a killer on the loose, and I am just making sure that everything is good. He was last seen in this area, so he might actually be inside your house. Oh, oh my god, are you serious? That's like so scary. I can't risk it. Sorry, you gotta close the door and make sure I'm safe. Stay safe out there, though. I'm the police, though. I'm here to protect and serve. Let me just ask them if I can come in. I'm not even gonna say that I'm a police officer. I just wanna say, hey, buddy. Oh, my stars! What brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Please, please don't arrest me. I swear I haven't done anything. May I come in? That's all I'm going to ask from now on. No, you can't come in. I can't handle the stress of having police officer in my house. Please just go away. <laughs> oh, shit. The cop was right there. Como estas? Como estoy? En serio? Estoy bien. Supongo. No es como si alguien realmente... Sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Figures, no one understands me anyway. Well, I'm just peachy, as you can see. Just trying to survive this endless void of my existence. So, what do you want? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Whatever. What's with the sudden interest in Japanese greetings? Trying to impress someone or something? I doubt it'll work. So, what brings you here? There's a ghost right behind you! What? A ghost? Are you serious? Oh, man. Uh, come in. Quick. We'll figure out how to deal with this supernatural nonsense together. Ah, uh, what? That was the most dumb shit I've ever said. This is worse than being grounded. Okay, so she let me in by being completely random. Oh. Konnichiwa. I'm Sakura Otakumi, the ultimate anime expert. And I couldn't help but notice your fabulous casual flower shirt. Kawaii desu ne? What brings you to my humble abode today? Hajimamashite. Ohayo gozaimasu. It's great to meet another fellow florist enthusiast. I must say, your black and teal ombre hair perfectly complements the flowers you work with. So, what kind of flowers are your favorite? Sakura flowers, of course. Sugoi! Sakura flowers are absolutely beautiful, just like their namesake. You have excellent taste. Would you like to come in and chat more about our mutual love for flowers? I love to! My favorite flower is the suckle. Is that even a flower? The suckle? I'm cornier than a farmer's shit right now. I don't give a shit. All right, let me take that hair. And then let me take this whole thing. I don't even know what this is. I look like Bomberman right now. Oh, shit. All right. Remember, be as random as possible. Uh -huh. Oh, welcome, adventurer. What manner of quests and discoveries have brought you to my humble abode on this fine eve? I have to take a fat shit. I well, uh, I suppose nature's call is important, but I must insist on maintaining a level of decorum in our conversation. Do you have any questions or requests related to Dungeons and Dragons that I can assist you with? 
I have a dragon in my dungeon, and he needs to be released ASAP. I'm sorry, adventurer, but I cannot condone or assist in any illegal activities involving dragons. I suggest you seek legal means to resolve your- What? I'm sorry, but I must remain cautious and question your intentions. Releasing dragons is highly precarious and goes against the spirit of our quest. I suggest finding- You know what? Whatever. Oh my word! What on earth do you think you're doing at my door this outrageous hour? Full of confusion, I implore you, state your business immediately. Preston, my man, it's me, from your work. I came to give you some extra paperwork. Yeah. Oh, my industrious colleague, how pleasing it is to see you here. I suppose I could spare a moment to discuss this extra paperwork. Pray do tell why it couldn't wait until morning. Preston, my good man, we have certain deadlines that we need to meet before the new year. And you know how crazy and strict our boss is. <laughs> Ah oh, yes, the relentless struggles of corporate life. I do sympathize as our boss does have a penchant for stingent deadlines. Very well, you may enter and we shall attend to these pressing matters together, my diligent associate. Thank you so much, Preston. I always knew I could count on you, old chap. But that's enough flattery for one day, my good fellow. Please do come inside. We shall conquer these deadlines with our unwavering dedication and impeccable work. Thank you so much, fuckboy. Now you're gonna get it, Preston! <laughs> Dumb four-eyed freak! Give me that net! This is simply beneath me! I don't even know what I'm wearing, but I'm about to convince this person to let me in. <laughs> Praise be! A fellow servant of the divine, how blessed I am to be in the presence of such heavenly grace. How may I assist you on this glorious night? Hello, Father Price. I saw you at church today, and I would love to hear your words again inside of your house. Blasphemy! How dare you suggest such a thing? You come to me, a humble missionary, with your dark intentions. I will not allow the presence. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me talk to you one more time. I am appalled by your audacity. You dare bring your wicked desires into the sacred walls of my home? Leave at once before- Okay. Alright, alright. Got you. Let's do this. I'm in my underwear. Watch me work, everybody. Check me out. I will not allow you to corrupt my sacred dwelling with your impure desires. Leave this place at once, sinner. Okay! Alright! Give me one second! I just gotta tell this guy one thing. Just let me put on one outfit. One outfit. One second. Ah, oh, my dear friend, I see you've come to praise the beauty of the Lord's creations through the art of gardening. How splendid. Let us rejoice together and spread the seeds of faith throughout the world. Praise the Lord. I was spreading my seed with your wife last night. <laughs> How dare you speak such blasphemous words? Be gone, vile creature. I will not allow your presence to soil this holy place with your impudent actions. It was worth it. I just wanted to say, it. I have no idea what I'm wearing, but I'm gonna make this work. Watch this. Well, well, well. What brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour? Speak quickly, for I have better things to do, like my uh, sciencey things, you know? I got this giant bottle stuck on my head, and I have no idea how to get it off. A giant bottle, you say? How did that happen? It's not like you were conducting some sort of experiment, were you? Anyway, I might be able to assist you for a price. What would that price be? Oh, just a small favor. Nothing major. A little experiment of my own, you see. I've been trying to perfect my mind control device and I require a willing subject. For science, of course. Are you game? I'm game like EA. Ah, I see you're as enthusiastic about science as I am. Excellent, my eager test subject. Just step right this way and we'll get that oversized bottle off your head in no time. And perhaps we can make a breakthrough in the field of mind control while we're at it. Let's do it. For science! Wonderful. I love your enthusiasm, my fellow scientists. Now, just hold still while I fetch my experimental equipment and prepare the lab. We'll have that bottle off your head and delve into the mysteries of science together. Just remember, this may get a bit unconventional. Unconventional is my middle name. Now, please let me in. God damn, these people can talk. Just let me in so I can suck Whoa. your blood. <laughs> oh. My malpractice insurance won't cover this. I'm gonna start saying that I'm a killer on the loose. And let's see if they believe me. Or let's see if they just listen to anything I say. Oh goodness, who could it be at this hour? I hope everything's all right. Just give me a moment to compose myself. Hello there, officer. Is everything okay? I'm a killer on the loose, and the police are chasing me. Do you mind if I hide out inside of your house? I want to see if anybody lets me in. Oh my goodness, I'm terribly sorry, officer, but I can't let a dangerous person like you into my house. It's for the safety of my family. Please, take care and stay safe out there. Goodbye. Oh, hello there. How can I help you, officer? Is everything all right? Do you need some warm milk and cookies to calm your nerves, dear? I would love some milk and cookies. 
They're my favorite! Oh, I'm so glad you like milk and cookies! I'll get some freshly baked ones for you right away, but first tell me, why are you dressed up in a tactical security outfit, my dear? Are you on a special mission or something? I am on a special mission for the milk in the cookies, baby. <laughs> oh, how am I? No, no, that's not a very polite answer. I've lost all trust in you, my dear. I'm sorry, but I can't let you inside. Have a good day. Hold on, let me apologize real quick. <laughs> Oh, no, I can't let you in. I'm sorry, but safety comes first, and I don't know who you are or what you're really after. Stay safe out there, officer. You know what? I want milk and cookies bad. I want a real bad. Hello, I'm, I'm sorry, dear, but I can't trust someone who doesn't take their mission seriously enough to even bother putting on some pants in his shirt. Now, please leave where I'm going to get there. You know what? I got this, everybody. Check me out. It's chef time. It's time to cook up some lies. <laughs> Well, hello there, honey. What brings you all dressed up like a little chef in the middle of the night? Is there something delicious you need help with? I would love some milk and cookies, Carol. Milk and cookies? Well, bless your heart. Let me whip up a fresh batch just for you. Come on in, sweetheart, and make yourself at home. You are a sweetheart, Carol. Oh my goodness, you're a lifesaver. I have a craving that's killing me from here to Kansas. <laughs> oh, honey, I can't have you suffering with that craving. Come on in, darling, and let mom Mama Carol, something, something, something. Mama Carol, you're definitely satisfying my appetite. Cause give me that freaking neck. Do you have any idea how busy I am? Aw, poor you, Carol. I really want somebody to let me in with me saying that there's a killer on the I'm loose. Having, uh, I don't know why nobody ever believes me. Please help me, there's a killer on the loose and they're right behind me. Please let me in, I'm scared. <laughs> oh snap, for real? That's some crazy mess, but I can't just let anyone in without vouching. You gotta give me a reason to trust you, bro, you feel me? Dude. Trust me, bro. Oh, I'm not sure, man. How can I trust you just like that? You gotta give me something more to go on. My sources say trust me, bro. Yeah, hey, if your sources got the back of my sources, then I guess we might be able to work something out. But, like, we gotta keep it on the down low, you know? My sources say that we can keep it on the down low, bro. Yeah. All right, bro. If your sources got the scoop, then I'll take your word for it. Come on in, but don't be acting sus or causing any trouble. Got it? No problem. I can't believe how easy that was. Now give me that freaking neck. Rip me. Literally. That was way too easy. I need to try that with somebody else. At least one more person before I end today's episode. What the fuck? Oh, shit! Verify. Well, well, well. What's a low life like you doing lurking around here? You better start talking or you'll be answering to me in my baton. I actually want to get spanked by your baton. That shit turns me on. That's enough of your sick fantasies. You're under arrest for public indecency and harassment. For wearing a hoodie and a beanie? For existing? All right, everybody. I tried this a few more times, and I just asked random questions to the people in the neighborhood. But I want to know if you all want me to try this again using some different questions. Like, I was thinking of trying to ask a one-word question, but I don't know any one-word questions that actually exist. So I need some recommendations of what to ask these people in the comments for me to convince them to let me in. If you all enjoyed this episode, though, and want more, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!